Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video we'll see how to create a simple digital timer like this one here um, in Excel using VBA macros. So we will also learn how to use the on-time event or more specifically the on-time method of the application object because that's the basis to run this, uh, this timer. So let me close this and start from scratch on a new worksheet. So we're gonna have several macros to run this timer. The first one is gonna be a start timer. So whenever we click start and we will add the buttons later, uh, it's going to come here and the first thing we'll do, we're going to select um, cell B2 for the timer. So let me make it a little bigger uh, and make maybe put some format here and uh, bold, maybe a little bigger. So, so the first thing we'll do here is to remove the content. Range B2 value equals zero and we'll get back to that but for now we can say zero and now we're gonna apply some custom format because we want to have a, a time format in the form of hours minutes and seconds so we do that with the um, with range b2 again with the number format property you see it here and then we just say uh, hours, minutes, and seconds. Then we are going to call another another macro that I'm gonna name uh, set timer. Okay, and down here we have set timer. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use the on time method here. But before we do that. Let me just explain you how that works. So I'm going to insert another module just for explanation purposes. And how on time works, on time is a method of the application object. So you need to reference the application and then use on time. And then here you can set a specific time when a macro will be run. So for example, let's say I want to run my macro at 12 uh, o'clock so I would say 12 o'clock and then a macro so let's say lunch macro we're gonna call a macro at that time you know and, and down here we, we could have our um, lunch macro and this could I don't know send the the menu for the lunch at that time for, for now let's put a a message box and say, and say uh, lunch time. That's simply how it works. So let me let me show you now. Now here in my clock is almost six. So in one minute, let's put uh, this time. I'm gonna run now this macro. It's almost 17:58. I'm gonna run it, and when my clock changes to, you cannot see that. That's I, I, it's down here but when it changes to 1758 then it's gonna call the other macro and the other macro is gonna display uh, the lunch time message and it's lunch time it's not lunch time here uh, so but it changed the clock at this time and it ran the macro so that's how this works we can also use on time to run a macro a particular time from now. So we would do that like this. Again, application on time. Now we say now, from now, plus, and then we use the time value function to add, um, let's say, from now in, um, in one minute, or let's say in 10 seconds. Okay comma and then we're gonna run the launch macro uh, again so if I run this now now let me comment this one so this one will not 
will not run. So if I run now this, and I'm gonna run it, let me put just five seconds, so we don't wanna wait that long. So if I run it, in five seconds, it's now probably two, three, and five, uh, it runs the macro. So that's how the on-time method works. So we're gonna use the um, application on time in our digital timer. So let me go back to module one. And here we're gonna have we're gonna have a variable and I'm gonna call time to call. And this is gonna be now plus time value and this is what we just seen of zero 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 one. So one second. And then we're gonna use the application on time function and at time to call it's gonna call another macro that I'm gonna name move timer. Okay, so let's recap. So we will start a timer with a start timer. This will call set timer. This will set the time to move the timer. It's gonna be from one second from now. So at that time, we will call move timer. A move timer is gonna add one second to our clock here. Okay, so let's go down and now add move timer. So move timer, as I said, is gonna add in range B2 dot value is gonna be whatever value it is. So initially it's gonna be zero. So it's gonna be whatever value in range B2 is plus the time value of zero, 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 one second. So we're gonna add uh, one second to whatever it's here. And then we go back to set timer, which is gonna call again move timer in one second. So that's basically the digital timer. Now we need a couple of more things here. So first of all, let's add some buttons here. So we need the uh, a start button. Let's put it here. And this is gonna start the timer let's say a start in order to see if the timer is on or off we're gonna introduce a new variable we have to define it up here at the module level so timer on I'm gonna declare it as a boolean so it's gonna it's, it's gonna be either true or false so when it's true, it means the timer is, is running. So that happens when we call the start timer, right? When we start the, the timer. So here, we will, we will add a line and we will say, if timer on is false, then, and, and this is because if it's running, it's not gonna do anything. It's, it's gonna keep running. But if it's false, if it's not running, then we're gonna do all of these things, right? And here we, and the if statement. And we're gonna do one more thing before calling the set timer. We're gonna say, hey, timer on now is true. We just started the timer. Okay, so we are adding this. So now here we're gonna add if timer on is true, then we do all this. We set the timer and we call, um, the move timer, okay, only, and we end the if, only when the timer is on. And then we call the move timer, and actually we can use the same here. If timer on is true, yes, we're gonna move the time, so we're gonna do this, otherwise, no. It's not gonna happen. And then down here, we're gonna say sub, stop timer and a stop timer what we're gonna do here is say timer on is fo equals false okay so whenever we call stop timer 
timer is going to be false and it's going to stop. And we're going to do that with another button here. So let me add the other button here. Let's put it here and say, and this is going to call a stop timer, right? And I'm going to put a stop. There's just one thing I didn't do. I didn't declare yet the timer to call. And this is important because timer to call is a date. We need to declare it as a date. Why? Because now, the now function in VVA returns a date. Is the date and the time for for this moment. So, and then we are adding some time value to the time. But this is altogether is a date. So that's why we declare it as a date. So, um, and that should be it. Well, there's just one last thing probably we need to do. This timer will, if we don't stop, if we just go for, you know, if we leave the computer on and we don't stop, this will run forever. So I think it's good to set a condition here and say, if the value in B2 is less than let's say a time value of let's say 10 hours then set timer then go back and to the timer otherwise it will stop it will never call back the set timer let's run it and see how that works and as you see i started and it's already running um, adding seconds here and we can of course stop it whenever we want otherwise it will run for for 10 hours so and if we stop it it stops here uh, now it stops and and um, if we start again it resets and it starts so we could either if you know depending on what you want to do with this we could either have a pause button so if we want to have a pause button, we, um, let me just change it here. Let's say now we pause, we don't, we don't stop. So if we pause, the only thing we need to change is here in the start macro, we do not set the value to zero. Okay, I'm commenting that. So that will not run. Now, if we start, you see, it starts from the last uh, it starts from the last point and then we pause and we can start again and probably we may want to have a reset button here so if we want to have a reset button what we need to do is just to use this line of code here and put it in a in another macro say reset timer and let me just go down a little. So let's say, yeah, reset timer is just setting the value in V2 to zero. And then we could add a button here to say reset. And we would go, we would call the reset timer here, you see. So, and that's it, that's how we do it, uh, I can start the, 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 the timer, um, we can pause, you know, and then we can reset back to zero and start again. And that's how we create a simple digital clock timer in Excel using VVA macros. Thanks for watching.